Dan or Dean Sultan says, Yo, Joe, who has who was the most difficult person slow learner you had joined Coding Face that succeeded, man? I mean, I don't know, bro. That's not my business to be putting people's business out there and be like, Yo, who's the slowest? Look, I don't think that it comes down to like people being slow or like it's difficult to learn things. It's just, I think that to learn how to code and, and to succeed you have to have two main things right you need dedication and you have to have a clear mind right so if you're trying to learn how to code and you got a lot of problems in your personal life like you got a baby mama you got you, you're homeless you're you, you, you shoot you work in two jobs you don't know if you're gonna be able to pay your rent at the end of the month or you got uh, a lot of bills over your head that type of shit it clouds your mind so it's, it makes your life difficult right so it makes learning to code and becoming a developer difficult right and having all of those things like it will definitely slow you down because one thing that i noticed the people that they already have their shit together right like for example like i've had guys that came in and they found a job in a in like a month in like two weeks and a half came in like and of course you know they probably have done like some little youtube here and there and and shit like that like they've been trying but they came to coding phase and they learned in a month and a half the things that we needed to to teach them like from content editor right or html email development they came in they did the work and then they got a job quickly month and a half right you know how some people be like man it's not possible to do it in three months i've seen people do it in a month and a half now what's the difference between those individuals that did it in a month and a half and the average person that comes in this individual that came in number one had his shit together meaning that his mind is clear like he came in and he said well i don't i don't have no no you know at the time didn't have like a job right he wasn't stressing about money he had money saved right he don't have no kids he don't have a family he's a young kid i think he's like 27 28 years old came in did the work a month and a half in got their job now the average person it takes them longer because if you're coming home and you got problems at home or you got bills that you got to pay and you're like that shit clouds your mind right or you gotta uh come home after like doing two two shifts that day guess what you're tired so the shit that's gonna happen that is out of your hands you're gonna, you're gonna be like oh i'm too tired today let me take a nap and, and i'll try again tomorrow you get what i'm saying like shit like that happens that's what really takes long right that's what makes people take long but you know learning to code and even the whole process that we have at codingface.com like it's not difficult for people the problem is what type of problems you might have in your life and, and do you have the dedication because also too you could have your shit together right you could be in a position like that you're comfortable like i've also seen people who are living with their parents right adults right grown adults 25 26 27 year olds right shoot i've seen people 30 years old living with their parents and they come to coding phase and they chilling and they take their sweet time and next thing you know they you know they don't get hired till like nine months that they've been on coding phase the first three months they wasn't doing shit they just signed up and just came in i was like ah, i'll get to it when i get to it and they just been chilling then they realize after they start seeing people getting results either in the accountability meeting or you know they see the the videos that we release here on youtube like oh look how this guy got hired then they decide to start taking it serious but then now they gotta go readjust themselves to be like oh okay let me go and do this two hours a day right maybe i'll do it once a week or two three times a week but the moment that they decide to take it seriously and do it every single day they get the shit together now somebody might say well how come it took them nine months right it's not our fault it's the fault of the individual if they wanted to take their time they could take the time i could only give you the tools but if you decide not to pick them up then that's on you 
If you decide to use the tools once a week, that's on you. If you decide to come in and, and, and say, guess what? I'm in a comfortable space right now. I'll do this when I get a, a, a chance. Guess what? <laughs> it's going to take you a while. But the people that want to get this shit together, they'll come in and, and, and knock it out. Uh, but I also want to point out that if you have problems, like, you know, that shit does cloud your mind. You know, we can't we can bullshit you and be like, well, don't worry, kiddo. We're going to get you through it. It's like, nah, it's like you got to get your shit together first, man. <laughs> like <laughs> if you're, you know, you're you're stressing out because your baby mom's just left the house and she took your kid and now you're feeling depressed and now you're like you're living in this house and, and you you're not you don't have energy to go and learn how to code or do any other stuff guess what you got to get your shit together first and then come back in you get what i'm saying because we we're not going to be able to teach you anything if, if you're going to be with your mind cloudy 